Hi everybody, welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. This is week 44 in the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner Challenge. And um, yeah, I really don't have much to say about it. Um, just that I'd love to have you join in and follow along, see what I come up with. Um, this week, might as well get started straight away. Something found at a grocery store. Okay. This is going to be pretty cut and dry. Plaid. Paper that has a stain or is stained. A light source. Children's book page or illustration. So with that being said, we are going to show you a few things that I've pulled. So I have my light source. Now I have no idea where this is going to take me. Um, but I cut out, asked for plaid, I have plaid and then a light source. So I found these lamps in a uh, mail order catalog. And I think, uh, let's see here, I think I may cut, um, sure which one I'm going to cut out. I don't know if I want to cut them all out. I know I want to cut these hanging ones out. So we will start here. Like I said, I don't really know where I'm going with this. Again, I have something in my mind. And I'm just not sure. If it's going to work. So, with that being said, um, I do hope everyone is having crafty days. And that all of your expectations are being fulfilled. Sometimes it's hard. You know, I talk about a lot not having, you know, having so many ideas, not having enough time. And it is true. And one of my commitments to myself, which I've totally let myself down this year, back in the beginning of 23, I said that I was going to finish at least two years of um, scrapbooking my family photos and I haven't even finished one year that I've pulled and I'm very disappointed in myself um, I haven't I also the other thing I haven't done let's talk about all the negatives let's be a negative Nancy for a while um, I also, you know, my, my son and husband bought me all these beautiful paints, watercolor paints last year for Christmas. And I haven't even really, I haven't taken the time uh, really to pay, play with my watercolor paints. And uh, I don't know if I need, I'm going to just cut this one out. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I'm just going to cut it out. Um, and I signed up for Laura Horn's uh, art class. Oh, I may have gotten through the first two sessions and then it just, everything went south. I just couldn't get to it. I think a lot of the problem this year was all of the mowing. I was a slave to my yard and um, it, that was tough on me this year. That was tough on me. So 
I just want to have, I just want to have a simple, I'm not saying my life is complicated by any means, but just some simpler days where I could take a couple days and work on my YouTube videos and then another couple days. I should just take the weekends to work on family photos. That's really what I should do. Because I can get a lot done in like a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. Oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions, right? Are you? Do you all find yourself in situations like that? You're doing one thing and you just keep thinking about how I should be doing something else. All right, so I thought... Um, let me see how this is going to go. So let me show you. These are the, my... These are my light sources, okay? All of these little hanging lamps, other than this one. That's not a hanging lamp. All right, and then I have, there's my plaid, my children's book page or illustration, and then something with a stain. There is a stain on here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a stain right here, and there is one up here. So we have this sweet little lad out in the middle of nowhere. He's looking up at the star, but obviously I'm going to have to cut this down so he fits on the page. And let's, let's just start little by little, little by little. The only thing that really came together on this one for me straight away was what you find in the grocery store. That was kind of easy. I'm going to move this over to the side so I can measure here. I'm going to have to cut a little bit off of the... Okay, just, I guess, the top there. Cutter, I don't know what is going on with it, but I have to, like, go back and forth, back and forth with it. There we go. All right, so we have this, and then I think just past that North Star tad. Uh, a little bit more. Remember, you can always take more off, but you can't put it back on. Okay. The only that only pertains to weight. You can take it off, and you can put it back on. Okay. So we have this little lad here. I'm going to get him right down because I don't foresee doing any cuts. Again, this is going to be pretty, pretty basic. Has anybody started their Christmas shopping? That's what I'd curious about. I have some done. You know, some like my daughter-in-law wanted a ski pass this year. So you have to buy that in August, the end of August, beginning of September. So I already got that for her. And then I'll just make her a few things, and she'll get one other gift, and that's it. Because those ski passes are expensive. But in the long run, it saves the kids a ton of money. Okay, so we have our sweet little lad on here. And then um, let's work with the lights, okay? So we have our children's book page. Um, I'm not going to do a, writ a written measurement. I'm not going to do that. Um, our light source, paper that has a stain or is stained. This is stained right here. Um, plaid and then something in the grocery. So we're going to work with the light source here. And I thought it would be fun to have these lights here that he's looking up at.
I thought that would be cute. So, and then I thought if we could, I don't think I'm going to put that in there because I really don't want it. Although that would be kind of fun there, wouldn't it, on top of that post. How often are you going to see a lamp out? Out in the... We're going to do that. And then I have my foil stars. I have my foil stars. So this one we're going to do the plaid. These I am just going to um, put a little slit in the bottom and I'm going to put a gold star um, I'm gonna just try it with this one I may not need to make the slip you certainly don't want to dump these now these I'm wondering if these are a little bit bigger I have these here. Let's, let's check these out. They might be the same exact size. Be nice if they were a little bit. Oh, these are a little bit bigger, so this is perfect. I thought they might because there's only 60 in here. So I'm thinking if I take a star. I want to put it where it's coming up under. Let's see if it still has sticky on it. I don't know if these still have. It does stick. Okay, so we're going to have that there like that. This one, and these do have, these still um, are good about self-sticking. Put that one there. Like that. And then we're going to put this one here. And if anybody's wondering where I bought the vintage Denison stars, again, I got them from a gal on Instagram. If you follow anyone, if you type in on Instagram, if you do a hashtag, you know, vintage ephemera for sale, you'll get a bunch of people that come up and they are constantly having sales of all kinds of vintage items that you can, ephemera and things that you can purchase from them. And over the years, um, I've been able to purchase a lot from some of these gals. I used to sell a lot of vintage myself. Um, you know, greeting cards and, you know, things that I would find at garage sales and, um, And then, you know, they would just start following me, and I would follow back. Um, so I, that's where I got, I have a lot of people ask me, you know, where did you find this, or where did you buy that? Most of it is all from other gals on Instagram. Boy, that's in there. Um... And the other thing, if you have one of these metal tips, every now and then I have to take this off and I have to boil it in hot water, well, boiling water. It's the only way I can really get them cleaned. 
so they're not so gunked up. I have a real problem with them, as you can tell from past videos. Okay, there's that one. So I'm wondering if I just even need that little metal tip anymore. I mean, it's nice to have for small work, but it's kind of a pain. It is kind of a pain. And I just thought these stars would be nice. Seeing that it's kind of like a winter Christmas scene. I'm depicting it as a as a Christmas scene. It doesn't really have to be a Christmas scene. All right, so there is our light source, and I am going to add um, this here because I'd like to add, I want to add the plaid to this. So I am just going to take this and trace around it. Okay, I guess it's better on this side. Um, and then I can put that right over that lampshade. Cut out, and I'm just kind of going here by my I wish when I was working on a journal it went this fast. Just cut the top of that there and put that on there. Let's get this on here. And then I can cut it down. And I do want to um, um, distress around it just so it it's a little more it stands out a little bit more there oh look at that ha! I cut part a section of that off didn't I well, I'm just going to have to glue that back on there. Oh, dab, dang it. I thought that was kind of heavy when I cut it. Oh, you dummy. All right. I will just cut that on there. So let us... I don't want to... Now I just have to be careful not to distress that center part. So we'll get here and here and then this, whoops, this and this part. Oh, you silly goose. All right, we're going to put that right We're going to stick that, I think. We're going to put that right there. So this little lad has a good light source outside around him. He won't be scared at night. He won't be scared at night.
Okay, I'll get that down. And then let's repair the shade here. Silly girl. Okay. Wow, look at that. You'd never even know that I cut that off, would you? There. There. Wouldn't it be nice to make all kinds of repairs like that at home? Just easy, easy, easy peasy. Okay. And then we need something that is found at the grocery store. And I found this little um, condensed soup. And we're going to put that. He's actually carrying that wherever he's going. Maybe he's going to his grandma's house. And he wants some. He's been playing outside all day. And he's taking some soup to Grandma's. There. She'll make him a nice bowl of Campbell's chicken soup. I hope there's noodles in it. But he has stopped along the way to admire um, these sweet little lamps with the stars on them and I'm wondering if we shouldn't put another little star maybe right up no I'm going to leave that little star just like that so that is it I think we have it all this week um so we have something found at the grocery store, which is the Campbell soup. We have plaid, which is the lampshade here. Um, paper that has a stain or is stained. There is a stain right here, a little oil stain. A light source. We have our chandeliers and our lamps. And then we have our children's book page. So that concludes this week's collage. I hope you like it. Um, it is getting to be that time of year where you're going to want to have your soups and you're going to come in from a nice cold day and maybe make a fire in the fireplace and have your little kitty sit on your lap and just enjoy the afternoon in front of the TV or with a good book. So with that being said, I want to thank everyone for joining in. I hope you liked this week's collage. If you did, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and big hugs and kisses for all of my subbies that keep coming back week after week to see another um, challenge that I put together. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.